Hello everyone and welcome. This is Lisa. Thank you for joining me for another video tutorial. Today we're going to be making some small treat boxes that perfectly hold four Andes mints or any other type of small treats. These are the little boxes. They're absolutely adorable. And like I said, they perfectly hold these little mints. Okay, this is the box and as you can see the mints, this was originally designed by Julie DiMatteo. But after making a few of them, I decided that I needed to do something to make them easier to make. So this is my version. So we're going to start here with the lid and it measures two and five eighths by three and one eighth. This is the bottom or the, uh, the box base and it measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters. We're going to line this up here at one and an eighth inch on our envelope punch board. We're going to punch and score. I forgot to pull out my bone folder and as I'm going down I accidentally went off to the side. Has that ever happened to you? That's okay. We're going to fix that. Next we're going at two and a quarter inches and punching and scoring. Now we're going to turn it and we're going to follow that score guide. We don't need to measure any more from this point and we're just going to punch and score following that score guide the rest of the way around and we're going to do that on all four sides. I tried to speed this up just a little bit for the sake of the time of the video. Okay, now that we have that done, we're done with our envelope punch board. And now we're going to bring in our bone folder and we're going to fold and score or fold and burnish on every uh, score line there. Okay, now as we have this together, we can see that the two sides are not going to meet up equally. So what we're going to do is on that first score line we're going to fold back and then we'll fold that point back in the other direction so that we can snip it off. Again, first score line, fold back and then bring that little edge up against and cut it off. We're going to do this for all four sides. So you should have two long or two large triangles and two short ones. Once we're finished doing this, you'll be able to see what it looks like and that's the shape of our box here. And what I'm showing you here is when you do that little boo-boo, you can take your bone folder and smooth it out. But in this case, it's not gonna matter because it's going to be a tab and it's going to be on the inside of the box. So now we're going to take and cut uh, vertically up to that first horizontal line. We're going to uh, miter our little notches there so that the tabs close easier. Doing this on all four sides. And now we're going to bring in some tear and tape. We're going to fold those tabs in inward and we're going to take the tear and tape and we're going to place it on that score line, right on that score line there on all four tabs. Excuse my rusty voice, it's that time of the year where everybody's sniffling around here so our voices get a little rough. Again, we're doing this on all four sides pushing those tabs inside so that you have it on the right, the correct side, not the right side, but the correct side. And for some reason here, I forgot that I can just pull this off with my fingers, so I'm messing around with these scissors and I don't know why I'm doing this, but as we get to the lid, you'll be able to see that you can just pull the backing paper off with your fingers. I'm just making it difficult for myself here and I'm not sure why. 
Okay, now on this last piece here, I've, I've made it a little long, so I'm trimming it just a bit. And whenever that happens, you can either trim it, or once you pull the backing paper off, you can just simply fold the tape back onto itself. Now we're bringing that tab along to the side and lining that up to the edge of the box, the side of the box. And you can see our box beginning to form here. And on each side, we're just gonna attach those tabs to the inside. Now you can use glue for this project if you would like. Uh, that's what I was using previously, but I had glue all over my desk and my fingers and I even had some in my hair. Now this part here, um, you can glue down if you wish. Um, I just tucked it down and now I'm reinforcing it with my bone folder. But it makes a nice inside finish to your box. So now I'm bringing in my candy. And yes, I have to admit, I did sneak a few while I was making this project. Who doesn't love Andy's chocolate mints? Okay, now we're going to make the, the uh, lid. And I'm bringing in my scoreboard. And I'm going to score at 3 quarter inches on all four sides. Remember that when you're scoring designer series paper to not push down too hard or you, you will tear a hole in it. So push firmly but gently if that makes any sense at all. Okay, now that we have that done, we're through with our scoreboard so we can put that away. Now we're doing the same thing as with, with the box. We're taking our scissors and cutting up vertically to that first horizontal line and making little mitered notches there. And you don't need to use a bone folder on this unless you just want to because it's designer series paper and it creases pretty well on its own. Now I'm going to bring in my half inch punch and I'm just going to punch a couple of little finger holes on either side and I'm just eyeballing it in the center and putting it about halfway uh, up to the top. Now I'm again adding the score tape to both or to all four sides of the box right up against that score line. And as you can see, you can just pull that off, the backing paper. And once you get it all off, you simply turn it in. And I apologize for getting off camera here a little bit. But you do the exact same thing as you did with the box. You turn those tabs in to form your box. In this case, this is the lid of our box. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now I've just added a little bow and some ribbon here to decorate it up a little. You can do whatever you'd like. Add some tag, add a tag, add some tags. Um, do whatever you like. I just put a little ribbon on mine. And here's our little box when you open it. You just pull the lid right off. It pulls off easily. And here is our completed project and the other one in green. So if you want to see what they look like decorated, head on over to my blog. The link is in the description below this video, as well as the shopping list for all the supplies I used for this project. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I always appreciate it, and till next time, happy crafting. Bye for now.